So someone was asking me about what like my diet looks like from recovery and now today after being recovered for a long time. And there's different variations because like, for example, at first when I was in recovery, I couldn't let go of the clean eating mentality. So I still clung to, oh, I gotta eat whole foods. I gotta recover on whole foods only. Like I can't you branch out. So I still was holding on to certain restrictions and I wasn't letting go completely. And letting go completely is key. It really is. You have to challenge all of your fears. It doesn't mean that you have to be completely like junk food 24 seven. It's just getting over the fears. So if you're put in a situation, you can be spontaneous and you can just be okay with eating whatever because you have to eat, right? There's no more limits anymore. You can literally go do whatever you want in life and you won't have this thought in the back of your mind like, oh shit, like, well, I have access to this or this kind of food. No, like you'll be able to do whatever you want in life. How freeing is that, right? I mean, that was huge to me. I can do whatever now. I was so limited before. So at first, my recovery, I still was, I was binging for months, right? So let me give you a quick example of my day of a binge, a day in the life of recovery binging, okay? And it's not binging because it's just the natural process that happens when you're trying to make up for the lost energy that you've been depriving yourself from for so long. It's not binge eating disorder. It's just replenishing. <laughs> it's normal. So I'd wake up. Um, I don't know what time. Let's say eight. And I would wake up ravenous hunger. I would have a bowl of oatmeal and then I would drench it in like maple syrup put bananas and then I'd go back for another bowl of oatmeal and then a bowl of oatmeal is like a cup right and then I went back this isn't the same meal I went back and I had granola with some almond milk and I put more bananas in that then I would come back and I would have literally like a half of a jar of a pint of peanut butter on either just jarred out of the spoon or on some bananas or apples or bread. I'd put um, either peanut butter on or I would put the bread with jelly and coconut oil or something. And I'd have a couple pieces of that. So altogether, that's several bowls of oatmeal, several bowls of granola and milk and fruit on top of all of those, a couple pieces of bread, maybe a half a loaf of bread and a half a jar of peanut butter. So I would be super bloated, but I would never feel satiated. I was never satisfied. So moving along to, along to lunchtime, a couple hours later probably, I would go and get sushi. So, but I would just get the avocado roll, the vegetable roll, and I would get several rolls, maybe like five rolls. <laughs> and then um, a side of rice. And then after that, I would still not be satisfied. And I would have another half of a jar of peanut butter and some more bananas with it or out of the jar, just spooning. Uh, later on for dinner or something, cause all day I was just thinking about food. I still, even though I was binging and eating all of this food, all I could think about was my next binge. Still super bloated, like I was six months pregnant. I would go to a Mexican restaurant. Oh, this was not during the clean eating, holding on to the clean eating thing. So I was allowing myself to go out to eat, right? So I went to Mexican food. I would get a veggie burrito. And then um, I found a place with like endless chips and salsa. And then I would get a side of guacamole. I would eat all of that, <laughs> like tons of chips and salsa until I was just completely stuffed to the brim. Then I'd wake up in the middle of the night, still hungry, like 12 or one in the morning and have another half a jar of peanut butter and something else, or just the peanut butter by itself. That's a day. Just like in the Minnesota starvation experiment, they were having 10,000 calories a day. I was Devin easily having 10,000 calories a day. And that would vary. So I, instead of the burrito and Mexican food, I would cook a bunch, a shitload of pasta and just have so much pasta. Or I would bake a huge thing, rack of potato wedges or fries and just 
eat that up. Fast forward, as time goes on, I would slowly, you know, not be, my binges would get smaller and smaller. So I wouldn't be binging that much, but I would still be eating quite a bit. And then fast forward past that, I was able to let go of the veganism finally, and I was adding more animal products in. And eggs were the first thing I added back in, and then cheese, and then meat. I was the most afraid of meat. But I saw huge results after adding those in, like huge. I was beginning to feel more satisfied with less. And it's like those were the things that were missing that I couldn't satiate without it. Even though I was eating a shit ton of calories, I just needed a balance of plant and animal. Fast forward, I think like a year in, I finally was able to, the binging would die down and I would have a binge here and there and I'd get extreme hunger here and there and it would just slowly become less and less often. So now today, what do I eat today? I'll wake up and I will have some coffee or tea with some creamer. It could be half and half or it could be coconut milk creamer whatever. I'm flexible. I'll have some fruit. We have a lot of fruit trees, so I'll have some fruit. If I don't have fruit or if I don't want fruit that day, I'll have um, some toast with some butter or some coconut oil, whatever. Whenever I get hungry again, I'll have like a sandwich. So I'll have a turkey sandwich with avocado and some homemade like mayonnaise. Whatever I want on it. I don't know. See, I don't even think about it. Yeah, I'll have a sandwich and if I'm craving something, maybe I'll have a couple pieces of chocolate after or I'll have a salad with it, like a Caesar salad. Later on, I might have like one of those complete cookie things or I'll have like a little snack of something. I don't know, a snack of like crackers or a snack of some more fruit from our trees or a snack of um, boiled eggs or whatever and sometimes I don't even snack it just depends if I get like hungry and I don't want to be ravenously hungry for dinner I'll have something before dinner or before I go on a run or something and I want just something little and then for dinner I'll have something like shrimp tacos so I'll cook the shrimp and some coconut oil and olive oil and then I'll put on the shrimp I'll put like some cheese and lettuce and some avocado and then I'll put it on some tortillas some gluten rich tortillas or I'll have like some a simple thing of salmon and rice I prefer white rice and like green beans or something or I'll have some ground turkey with some some kind of veggie or a side salad and some pita bread so that's pretty much what it looks like and I'm like full at lunch or at dinner and I'm not going to bed starving and I'm not waking up in the middle of the night uh, binging or I can sleep because I'm consistently feeding myself throughout the day so I don't feel like I need to binge at night. If I am hungry after dinner and before bed I'll have something maybe like a little thing of ice cream or maybe I'll just have some boiled eggs or maybe I'll have a cup of warm milk or maybe I'll just eat dinner really late. Another thing is I like to have like scrambled egg kind of tacos with avocado and some spread of some kind. So I hope that answers your question and it's completely different and I never thought I was going to get to this point. I never thought that the binges would stop. I never thought the extreme hunger would stop. I never thought like my bottomless pit hunger and stomach would go away, but it did. After months and months of just believing in the process, continuously feeding myself, the hunger just dies down. Eventually you get to a point and you're like, oh shit, like when did this happen? You know, it just gradually happens. If you're trying to control and force the process to happen sooner and you're just perseverating on when the extreme hunger is gonna go away, when the binging is gonna stop, when the weight will redistribute, it's just not gonna happen like you just have to let it be and go on with your life and it just happens I know it's crazy to fathom but that's just how it is I hope this helped in some way so I just wanted to answer this and yeah happy eats